Greetings, Joel. I am Sylvia Mendoza. I was, uh, I want to address um, a little bit of a flare up that I caused there on YouTube. Um, listen, uh, I'm 67 years old. I'll soon be 68. And I've been serving the Lord since around 1983. And I've been deeply involved in spiritual warfare and praying. Prayer, um, uh, by the way, your parents will probably recognize Christ for the Nations. It's in my neighborhoods where I was raised, and I've been there. And I didn't go for a graduate program. I took some courses there and was involved in the music program and been involved in uh, some leadership positions. And I've done missions also. But I was personally, you want to say, served by the adversary, maybe, um, well, many times, but when I moved to the last house that I was into in Dallas, I didn't know, but there was a monastery. You wouldn't think, you know, Cowboys, Dallas, Texas, all of that, that there would be a monastery there. Well, I didn't find out some years later, but I came under lots and lots and lots of spiritual attack, big time. So uh, I had accidentally, the Lord, nothing happens by accident. The Lord calls us to everything. I found out about the religion of Thailand uh, through the Lord. Um, and I didn't like, um, no, I did not like what I found out. It was pretty, pretty bad. And I was, uh, very much attacked after that, uh, for quite a while. I won't say years. The battle was for years. So when I saw your video and I saw you at a ceremony, I freaked out because as David said, well, it's in the Bible. I, I, I'm not going to look that scripture up right now. I have some other scriptures for you, though. And I have studied um, the Bible quite a bit also, by the way. You can't live without the Word of God, and I'm sure you know that. And uh, God bless your parents, too. Didn't mean to stir, ruffle any feathers. But you know what? All things happen for a reason. Uh, nothing happens by accident. So um, let me tell you that um, I just want to say, when you're on the enemy's ground, when you're in his camp, it's a different thing than say mixing and mingling with the people uh, as it is mixing and mingling with the people of a, of a country depending on what the religion is even if it's a religion like say catholicism you don't know what kind of attack you're going to run into and if it's more closely related to idols um which let's just use catholicism for now is of course uh, idol worship I have actually been to Catholic church, here, churches. I'm not Catholic, but I've been to weddings and I've seen actual uh, Buddhist statues in the Catholic church, which really was astounding to me. And um, I just learned a lot. I've learned a lot. So I've learned not to go onto enemy territory if I don't have to, which is why I came out that way, which is why my mother heart for you. I love you very much. And I've been praying for you. I will continue. I'm going to up my prayers now because Thailand for some reason, it's been in my life for a while. My ex-husband uh, married a Thai woman back in the 60s during the war. And so I'm familiar with Thailand. And here Thailand is coming to my life again. So the people look beautiful. I love them too. Uh, I can't, of course, I don't know uh, any Thai people. I don't. I mean, I've met a few, but very few in the past. I've done missions in Mexico and here in Texas on the border, etc. But never to like uh, Thailand or a foreign country like that other than Mexico. But I am in Texas and uh, um, I'm a native Texan. I was born in Corpus Christi, which I don't think is an accident either. I love the name of the city I was born in. But anyway, back to the subject here. I just want to share with you this scripture. Jesus said, and uh, uh, it was just because of my mother's heart towards you for being an actual enemy on the enemy's camp. And I mean, Thai people do not be upset with anything that I say. You are not my enemy. You know, we know something you don't know. We know Jesus Christ is Lord. Okay. And he rules over all, all, all the idols. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I just want to say, Jesus said to us, out of Luke 10, 19, behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the adversary and nothing shall by any means harm us. And the scripture that I used a lot when I was in spiritual battle, um, and I use to this day out of Revelation 12, 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. So in the name of Jesus Christ, Joel, and, uh, 
your partner. I'm sorry, I can't think of her name right this minute, but I know her sweet little face. God bless you in Jesus' name, and I know that you will overcome by the blood of the Lamb. I send my blessings. I ask that the Holy Spirit would just be poured out on Thailand and upon you, and I ask that the Lord God Almighty would speak to your heart in every way, and I'm so sorry for upsetting you. God bless you. Blessings from Texas. Shalom.